Uh, hello guys, um, I just wanted to make a video, um, guess who just got their license to busk in the city of Melbourne? Um, me! <laughs> that too. Um, I, yeah, I did a video just a couple of days ago, um, talking about how I was about to go to the, the safety and amenities, um, what is it called? Uh, something, you know when you go in there and they check you, review or something like that? So basically, um, I once again I'll do a whole setup of the story. Basically, uh, ever since I got the flute and the ukulele and stuff like that, I've always thought, oh, it would be fun to busk and stuff like that, even just for a day, just to see what it's like. You know, I like to experience different things and stuff. And then I looked up the process, and apparently, to get it, you have to um, attend like this safety and amenities review or something, just to make sure that your act is safe. And the dates of these review things were always on a day that I was working. Like every time, it would always be like on a Tuesday or something at, let's say, ten o'clock. And I'm always working those days. And so, but this time around, um, fortunately, I was on. I'm on annual leave at the moment. Like I just happened to apply for annual leave for um, three. I think three weeks in after Christmas. And so I think last week uh, I was at work because uh, I still had to do my Wednesday. Uh, and after at lunchtime, I was like, hmm, I wonder if um, they have any of these review things during January, like, this year. Because in my head, I was thinking, oh, it's probably, like, January 25th or something like that, like, once I've gone back to work. But I thought I'd double check. And then there was a date for, what do you call it, G in January. But actually, it was fully booked. It actually said fully booked on the website. I was like, damn it. And then, um, but then it also said, um, put your name down, put your name down on the waiting list. And if a spot opens up then they'll um, contact you. And so I thought, oh, whatever, put my name down. And that was that. And then I got an email on Friday or Thursday or something like that to say, come in on Tuesday. And I was like, whoa. I was like, what? <laughs> um, things, this is getting real. Because, <laughs> you know, and I was thinking, oh. And they said specifically that, or I've heard somewhere that these things are not about talent. They're not like testing if you're talented enough to do busking. They just want to make sure that your act is safe. It's not, it's not too loud not too dangerous and stuff like that but at the same time I'm still like oh I still want to practice some songs make sure I can play some songs before I go in on Tuesday so um from Friday to Tuesday in the back of my mind and I did a little bit more practice than I would have normally which is almost zero <laughs> so I did more than that so I practiced uh, a little bit every day and uh, I got a few of the songs that I already learned I got them so I, well one song really basically over the rainbow I could play that one through and uh, yeah, so I had like one or two, one and a half songs basically I could do. Um, so I rocked up. I went this morning, Tuesday morning, to the town hall. It's the building next to the town hall. And um, it was funny when I rocked up there, there was a few people and they were sitting down and they had musical instruments and stuff and waiting. And I was like, this feels like I'm in the, auditioning for Australian Idol or something like that. Kind of like, you know, just, and I was kind of, and I was thinking to myself, okay, don't be nervous. Like, you don't really here I mean like it's not like you know those things where you, you get nervous because your whole life is building to this point and it's you know like make or break it's like kind of train or something whereas for me it's not like that at all it's like it's just something I'm doing for fun so I try to go oh yeah so let's relax a bit but yeah it was good I wasn't super nervous but I think if I had to because I'm not used to playing in front of people like yet like um I've done it a few times but you know not all the time so uh Anyways, we, we went upstairs, um, this lady named Elizabeth, who's like in charge of um, busking stuff from the council, city of Melbourne. Uh, she was really nice. She was so uh, great. Like, well, wasn't like intimidating or anything like that. She was like really friendly and just explaining stuff like um, where you can busk and all sorts of, she went through a lot of things and stuff like that. And really good information to know. Mm, and then uh, at the end of it, um, she said, um, yeah, people who apply it online, you can grab your thingos, if you um, have a paper application or something like that, which I had, so I came up and she she just um, looked at it and said, oh yeah, so um, you play ukulele, and, you, and then said, and she said, oh yeah, so that's pretty simple then, um, what kind of stuff do you play, and I said, oh yes, the cover, I, said, I just said like covers and just songs, and I sing a little bit, and, and yeah, and then um, she said, oh, okay, that's fine then, no problem, and then she signed the sheet and gave me this little, um, temporary thing so now I'll show you the pass this is it it's stamped officially stamped that's in that info. how cool is that so this is just the temporary one so um 
they're not yeah so that's just that's just the temporary one and for, till the january 26th and, and then in the meantime the proper one will be ready and then i'll have to go collect it or whatever um yeah but then so i have that i paid for it i um paid my 20 dollars. but now that's cool hopefully now that i've done that process i can just renew it online and stuff and don't, not have to go into the meeting to to um every year and stuff hopefully not because then i can just keep busking license so that if i ever choose to busk i can go in the city but the thing is today um i'll show you this photo i took i like it because it has a tram in the background which is kind of like symbolic of uh, uh of melbourne okay so that that was me in front of the town hall okay so that's me why am i ukulele in the background i've got the pass and then there's a tram in the background i just like grabbed it like that um and it happened like, luckily the tram went past just as it happened could <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I decided, you know what, I could go home, I could like practice for months and then come out when I've got like six or six to 12 songs and then do it then. Or I could today as I've got my pass, which means I could bust straight away, um, just wet my feet, get into it. And I decided, um, yeah, I'm going to go. So I went down, but I didn't want to, <laughs> I, I just want to ease myself into it and like, you know, just take it really easy so but i really like the area of south bank to do it along i just always wondered and there was this particular area that i used to envisage doing it in but the place is gone now basically um near um the arts center stuff they used to have stairs going down underneath and then there was like this little area that was underneath like whatever like and then you walk through and then you get to the south bank but now that part's really kind of gone now which is a shame because that's where I imagined I would do it because I remember when I was in high school I used to walk through there and some guy, and some guy used to play the flute there and it was kind of cool because it had um, good acoustics or something like that but uh, that's, I look for that place today it's not I don't think it's there anymore if it is I've missed it anyways um I found a spot I wanted a spot that wasn't where people were doing it <laughs> I just wanted to actually to actually I just wanted to sit somewhere in the city and just practice, kind of practice in a way and not I think if people started watch me play I would have because I've only got like two, I had three songs today that I could play through and so I didn't want them to sit there because then I would just repeat too much <laughs> um so basically I found I walked along the south bank and I I went down the stairs along where the um ferries are the the, the ferry station is you know the ferry boat thing and so there's a little bit where there's a tree and there's some shade on the ground. I thought, I want to sit there. So I sat down there, pulled out my ukulele and just um, started strumming through Over the Rainbow. And then I didn't sing, actually, because I felt like um, just playing this instrument was kind of chilling, chill, relaxing. And I like that kind of mood. Uh, whereas if I start singing, that's kind of, I'm not, I don't know if it's jarring, maybe, but just kind of the, just the, the sound of the instrument, I, that's what I was feeling. That's what I wanted to do. So I played through Over the Rainbow, and then I played, and I started off with um, Rainbow Connection by the Muppets, by Kermit. Did that, then I did um, Over the Rainbow, then Let It Go Frozen. All of just the, the strumming part, the whatever, ukulele part. Um, and then I cycled through them a few times, and I really enjoyed it. Like, I seriously sat there. I To me, it sounded really nice, actually. Maybe it's because of the ukulele I've got. I don't know. Yes sounded really nice like to me <laughs> and there's people around there's a few people there's a table on the left there's people just or no table or a bench or something like that there was a couple of people just chilling there and then there's a people get on the ferry over there and then i think during the thing there was one guy he came down i think he was just doing a smoke break and he was standing there for a little while so i felt like um he was standing there so i was like i'm gonna entertain him i'm gonna Play, so he's got some background music for his smoke break <laughs> and, and one other thing I noticed was while I was playing this seagull kind of stood in front of me and was kind of look, looking at me I don't know for a while and then he flew off he didn't stay till the end but I had an audience of a seagull today so that was pretty good good start very good start um, and so yeah I, I thought I'm glad I just because that was really all I wanted to do for my bucket list is actually one day just busk and that wasn't really proper busking but I felt I, I want to ease into it, but actually do it first rather than, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, 
that was busking but not proper like not like hey i'm busking kind of thing it was like um one day i'll build up to that once i get more because even today i got more confident just playing in public just from that 15 minute session because it was really relaxing by the river seriously i was strumming i was looking at the river and i really like that spot um so i'm thinking in my head that i might try to go uh maybe regularly i'm not sure but and also um i definitely want to play like video game music and stuff like that so even in my head i was just thinking um maybe i'll learn um like a song from kingdom hearts or something like that just something to strum along to that would be really cool so anyways that's the end of the video i'm just very happy that i finally have got the wheels in motion and doing this busking thing um that would be fun to do it regularly that would be really fun and we could because the reason I wanted to do it, and it's good because um in the meeting today, the lady said, um yeah, people do busking for different reasons. Like, there's some people who do it just to practice their instruments. Some people do it just to gain confidence. Some people just like to be part of the city. Um, and some people do it for a living where they need the money and stuff like that. So um, I'm probably in the category of I want to practice. And, yeah, maybe get confidence playing in public and stuff as well. But also, I didn't really think about it before, but now that I – was in the meeting and with this room of people of all wanting to be buskers and stuff i felt like hey i do want to be part of the city i want to do do want to contribute to the the feel of the city that would be awesome like so i have like motivation now to i want to have like be able to make it like chill kind of music just video gamey stuff hopefully or anything really but yeah so that's the end of the video i'm done i mean i've finished all my topics <laughs> all right later